moving objects around. Um, Oracle has been working for the last few releases more and more towards 100% uptime. I'm not talking about 100% uptime in terms of surviving failures. I mean 100% uptime while doing maintenance jobs. And with each release we have more online operations. And there are a couple of rather important changes, well, there are several important changes, but here I'm just picking up on two of the online enhancements that we get with 12C. Online table redefinition. Now, there is now a single procedure call to reorganize tables. If we look at the DBMS redefinition package, it's been possible for some releases now to move tables with zero downtime, or virtually zero downtime, through using the DBMS redefinition package. But it was really awkward. I'm not going to demonstrate all of this, it would take a bit too long, uh, but the technique, first you run the procedure can redef table against the table, and that runs a few checks for things like primary keys, materialized views and so on, materialized view logs, a few other checks, data types and so on, to see if it's possible to an online move. So you do that first. Then you create your interim table in the other table space, maybe. You have to copy across your table dependence, and that has all sorts of problems, but one way or another, we need to get the indexes, the triggers, the constraints, and all the privileges onto the interim table, which has been created in its new location. And there may be more things you need to copy across as well. So we've got to get all that lot across. Actually, to do the work, you need to run the start redef table procedure. And that will take all the rows from the original table into your interim int table, thus relocating the table from one table space, perhaps, or one physical one table name to another. While that's going on, that's a procedure call that might take hours. We do, of course, have sync interim table, so you can capture the changes that are recorded while it's going on. And at the end, when it's finally all finished, we use finish redef table to do the data dictionary magic that renames the objects. So we have been able to move tables online with zero, you know, with zero downtime for some time now, but it was a lot of work. We'll happily do it for you. Yeah, but it's quite a lot of work, it needs a fair bit of skill, a fair bit of testing. What we see with 12C is there is a brand new procedure, redef table, one procedure call. And what this procedure call will let you do is take your nominated table, you can change its compression from none to a hybrid columnar, whatever, you can change your table compression type, you can move it to a different table space, you can do it partition by partition by the way, so the table or partition can go to a new table space. You can rebuild your indexes into a new table space. You can adjust the key compression of the indexes. You can compress your lobs. You can move your lobs to a new table space. You can even change your lobs from traditional lobs to secure file lobs. So one procedure call that lets you move a table with zero down time. You know, to show it's very straightforward, very easy to do. For example, if I were to, let me select show user, right, I'm user Scott, and my table at the moment, I select table space from user segments, where segment name equals depth, for example, Table space name. Dept is right now living in the user's table space. Well, it's easy enough for me to shift it, begin, and then DBMS redefinition redef table. And the minimum, I'll just I'll just specify the absolute minimum I need to specify. The schema I'm working in, Scott. Right. The Table name I want to move, T name, I'll move depth and move it to a different table space. Table or partition, table or partition to move the entire thing into the table space. I think I have a table space example. Uh, 
that look okay? Yes, it does. And while this move is in progress, DML continues as normal. And so all the normal insert update delete continues while this is in progress. <coughs> there it is, it's gone. And the final proof of the pudding is now an example. So very nice capability. And my indexes, of course, will have survived. The grants and everything will have survived. Everything stays intact, just with one procedure call. Now, but it gets better. It gets better. That we could do previously, but it was a lot of work. We'd happily do it for you, but it was difficult. What is totally new is the online ability, the ability to move table spaces online, moving data files. This is a horrific job. If you're moving files from one file system to another, perhaps from file system storage to ASM, perhaps from non-clustered storage to clustered storage, from local disks to SAN, from SAN to NFS server. Anything to do with moving data files was massive downtime. And we know how to do it. We take the, well, let's, let's see how are we doing. Yes, let, and if I do it, for example, if I select name from V dollar data file, right, there are my data files. Now, if I want to move a data file, consider how you do it before. If I want to move, say, the data file that makes up the users table space, I happen to know it uses 01 DBF. What we would do, we would take the table space offline. So your downtime begins now. Then at the operating system level, we have to physically move the file. So MV and move that file, home JW, app JW, or data and so on, and move it somewhere else. I'll put it into home JW, new users DBF. So we physically move it. Having done the physical move, we have to tell Oracle about the move, or to database rename file. We have to do the control file update to say that that file is now that file. Done. And only after that can we bring the table space back online. That's massive downtime to relocate a table space. Of course, we can do it a bit better for you, you know, by using um, our man copies, and then perhaps applying incremental backups and then archive logs, we can minimize the downtime. But there's always going to be downtime when you move files around. And if you're trying to move system, it's going to be even worse. You can't do that while the database is open. So you can do it, but it's massive downtime, particularly if it's a multi-terabyte database that you're moving. Now, however, we have a totally new technique. So there are files. What can we do with this? We have a new command. Alter database, move data file. Alter database, move data file. Now, the data file I'm going to move will be that to the new location. In fact, I'll put it back into the old location. So note at this point, my table space is online. Table space is online. And we give it that command, alter database, move data file, give it the current name, then specify the new location. And Oracle is going ahead and it has moved it. And while that was in progress, well, we can prove it, there it is, my data file is now back there. And, and it was too quick for me to, to demonstrate, but I can assure you that there is zero downtime. DML continues while that's in progress. So we can relocate entire table spaces with zero downtime, and I think, that really is magic. <laughs>